Okay, page 46, problem number 6. The next dividend payment will be $1.80, which, since it's the next dividend payment, that's D1. The dividends are anticipated to maintain a 5% growth rate forever. So that is that constant growth rate formula, constant dividend growth rate formula, which is uh, PT equals DT plus 1 over R minus G. If the stock is currently selling for $48.50, so that would be P0, what is the required return? So you're solving for R. But now what we're going to do is there's that formula on page 43 that allows you to solve for R instead of when you've got all the other numbers like P and D and G and all that stuff. So in this case, R equals D1 over P0, and remember that is also dividend yield, plus G, which is the growth. Okay, so R equals, in this case, you know that D1 was $1.80. P0, they said, was $48.50 a share. That was the current selling price. And they told you that there was a 5.5% growth rate. So just plug in all the numbers, and you get R equals 0.0921, or 9.21%. Okay, back to the problems. Problem number seven. The required return on Mountain Meadow stock is 14%, and the dividend growth, so that would be uh, R, and the dividend growth rate is 3.5%, which would be G. The stock is currently selling at $11.80, so that's P0. What are the dividend and capital gains yields? So what they've told you here is that the uh, the stock is 14. Uh, the required return is 14%. Required return, remember, is made up of two different parts. R, that is R. So R is made up of the dividend yield and the growth rate. So if you know what R is, which is 14%, and you know what the growth rate is, which is 3.5%, then if they're asking you what's the dividend and capital gains yield, well, they've told you, remember, the growth is equals capital gains yield. They're both the same thing. G equals the capital gains yield. So in that case, G would be 3.5%. And then if you've got a 14% overall return, and if you've got a 3.5% capital gains return, 14 minus 3.5 equals 10 and a half. Okay, so that would be your dividend yield. If you want to go through all the math of it, it's, it's great just to know that, you know, it's a pretty simple, simple formula. But remember, here's the formula itself. R equals D1 over P0 plus G. Remember, this is dividend yield. Dividend over price. Dividend yield. This is the growth rate, which is also the capital gains yield. Okay, so if this is, R is 14%, and you know that this is 3.5%, the G, which is the capital gains yield, you can just subtract 3.5% from 14, or you can go through the calculations of knowing what the price is, figure for D1, yada, yada, yada. But then all you do is plug D1 back in over the price to get the 10.5% rate anyway. So it's good just to know that R is the overall required return. This is the dividend yield. This is the capital gains yield. If you've got two of these, you can get the other one. And that's all this says right here. That's problems six and seven.